welcome to another video where today we are checking out Last Oasis, a relatively new survival game that I've had my eye on due to its interesting twist where it's actually a nomadic survival game. So obviously we got to do survival things like finding water, food, hunting creatures, gathering resources, and all that type of jazz in this giant open world. However, we can actually traverse this world with our walker, a wooden wind powered machine that can be adapted for travel, transportation, harvesting, and even combat. So all these mobile bases can be upgraded and built up. You can also construct more permanent fortifications to protect yourselves from nomads and wildlife. And not only is it a huge open world, but it's actually a world filled with other human players, groups, and clans that you can encounter and interact with in a variety of ways. This already seems like a game that's going to be right up our alley. That's exactly why I've been so excited for it. And I'm even more excited to actually be playing this through the nvidia geforce now platform so huge thank you to my friends over at nvidia for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel i seriously do appreciate it especially with this platform that we are going to be utilizing so the nvidia geforce now platform is actually this incredible innovation that lets you play very demanding pc games on any pc mac nvidia shield and even android device that's right, NVIDIA GeForce Now can turn your low-powered PC and even mobile device into a PC gaming powerhouse by using NVIDIA's cloud gaming servers. So pretty much you're borrowing a powerful NVIDIA GeForce graphics card from a cloud gaming server that then handles the high computational load of running your favorite PC games so that you can enjoy them regardless of your hardware. As y'all might know, I'm kind of a survival maniac myself and survival games tend to be pretty demanding, especially huge open world multiplayer ones like last oasis so nvidia geforce now lets you play games you've already bought on platforms like steam epic game store etc and the user interface is super simple because once you have the nvidia geforce now app open you can actually just search up your favorite game and add it to your library if you haven't already then just press play you might need to like log into your Steam account, Epic Games account, etc. first if you haven't yet, but after that, you're pretty much golden. So yeah, just from this like incredible accessibility that the NVIDIA GeForce Now platform provides to people who might not have otherwise been able to play some of these PC games due to how demanding they are, or maybe just not having a PC in general, that's actually like entirely opened up now just overall it's this incredibly cool innovation that nvidia has been working on so make sure to check out the nvidia geforce now platform through the link at the very tippity top of the description you can actually enjoy the free membership and for a limited time even get a special price on the founders membership and its many benefits including a free 90 day introductory period but without further ado let's begin our last oasis survival journey and hold Oh, baby, I'm beautiful. There we go. I like this dude. Ashkarad. After the cataclysm, the world slowly stopped rotating. One day lasts a year. The last of humanity must run from a burning sun, forever leaving in the twilight. As a rite of passage, every nomad must learn to survive. Nomad. Do you remember what I have told you? If you find your trousers full of sand, you've landed in the wastes. Now shake it off and begin moving. The sun is near. It will consume this place. Bro, did that walker just yeet us off? You have spent your Not entire cool. life rowing the flotilla. And now you have paid your debt. You will be taken to a pit in the wastes. No, I don't Survive want a pit. And return to me. I have more to tell you. Alrighty, strange mysterious voice. With that, I have no idea where he's coming from. But welcome everyone to the actual gameplay portion. Oh, Minecraft style? Let's just yeet some trees? Yeah, no, I might actually need something to hit this with. Oh, is that the chicken? Hello, chicken! How you doing? Can I eat you? Oh, baby! Yeah, get back here, Femke! Yeah, that's right, Femke. Fear me! Ooh, wood. Can I pick this up? Hey! Femke, for your generosity in leading me to this place, I will let you live. 
So now I actually got to go ahead and craft a beach stick in the crafting menu. So that's kind of cool that we actually get this little quest line in the upper left hand corner, giving us a general sense of direction as to how to begin. So we got to go over here to the crafting menu and uh, the beat stick. I imagine this is a stick that beats. We click that, we hold the craft, bada bing, bada boom. The cactus when you cannot find water. The test is not so sweet. More like a bum rack. A bum rack. Oh, a bum rag. I still don't know what either of what he just said is, but I gotta go and yeet some freaking cacti now. Eat my beat stick cactus. Give me all of your flesh. Yeah, so on the right-hand side of the screen, y'all can see that we are collecting the cactus flesh and getting some experience. So this is still the early game portion of things. And I imagine that is potentially our walker that we're going to build and or repair. Because as y'all have seen, that is kind of going to be a big portion. Oh, what is this? A campfire? A sandbag. Oh, okay. But that's going to be a big portion of the game is the actual ability of having that giant mobile roaming base to take us from the widest parts of this map. Because as y'all can see, it's a, uh, well, it's just the local map. This is the world map. Oh my God. And as you can probably see, the world map is freaking huge. And we can actually travel over to these locations, I believe, once we actually get our walker built. Like... Oh my god, that is literally insane. But here we do have the local map and some of the different things that this does provide. So, very large game, if you weren't able to piece that together yet. But yeah, our primary objective for now is going to be actually getting our walker. That's going to be our primary way of potentially getting into some battles with other walkers. Also being able to roam, just having a lot of additional mobility. Uh, hold on, I'll just go and eat some cacti. Um, nom nom nom, gotta eat eight of those. Gaining some additional mobility and just just overall like catching us up to speed with like ev every like pretty much everyone somewhat. Find all the knowledge on your journey. Bring it with you. The sand has swallowed many treasures. Like this? This looks swallowed. Oh, research. What is this? I gotta find a fragment in the walker debris. Well, I assume this is the debris. If I press F on that. We found a fragment! So I can actually use a fragment from the inventory to go into the tech tree. So if I right click that... Ooh. I like how the music plays in each one of these. Check it out! So the tech tree is kind of sort of our way of having a skill tree. So currently we have vitamins, which we can create. We can learn vision powder over there. What about walkers? I kind of want to get like a fancier walker here. Okay, I need three fragments to get the firefly walker. A pedal powered walker that nomads build when they want to begin their journey. Dude, that's so. And y'all can see that there are many different types of walkers that can be built as well. Well, yeah, for now, I'm just gonna kind of uh, keep that fragment in my back pocket. I got to uh, unlock a sand bed in the construction tree. Dang, that's kind of disappointing. I, I didn't want to have to use the sand bed, but I guess I have to. Well, that's unfortunate. But I gotta do it to finish the quest. Goodbye we to the fragment. Are surrounded by wastes. One side of the earth is hot and barren. The other side is dark and covered in ice. Uh-huh. Really? There's a side covered in ice? Yo, that's loco. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. This is actually our building menu. Y'all can see there's gonna be a lot of things available to us. They watch you from the brush. Oh, check it out. So now it's giving us a bit of a combat Whoa. tutorial in the top left-hand corner of the screen. So if we're kind of dragging our mouse to the left and holding that, we actually can do a left strike. If we're dragging to the right and we hold it, we do a right strike. So it's depending on which way your mouse is going when you start hitting, it will affect how you hit. Same thing with blocks. So we're doing an upward block because we look to the up. And then hold right click to the left. We're actually blocking back and forth and back and forth. Whoop. Rupu once surrounded me on the black hills. I gotta kill a Rupus. They danced and ate the flesh of my companions, guzzling their psychedelic brew. I see something in the distance over that way, however. Could that be what we seek? It appears to be on two legs and next to a walker that we might be able to research. Ooh. Okay, okay. I think in the bottom left-hand corner, y'all can also see 
our red little crescent i think is health i think the green might be stamina and then the blue might be our thirst oh i think that is the rupus are you ready for combat comrades it is time for us die rupu oh 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 right block dude i'm just i'm gonna try to like figure out blocking a little bit overhead block dude check it out <laughs> overhead block that's so cool oh i am a combat master of life fear me call the oasis a mysterious Ooh. energy flows I'll loot you. soil. So I gotta now increase a character stat. So over here. Oh, we actually got five points that we can use in a variety of stats. Melee combat, sprint and acceleration speed, maximum stamina and health. Why don't we go? Let's get a little bit of health upgrade. Twice. Let's get a stamina upgrade twice. And then a little bit of damage in there too. Mobility. Eh, who needs it? Walker's crafting here, however. Ooh, here y'all can just see even more of some of these walkers like oh my god the buffalo walker firefly walker freaking stiletto walker bro they got stilettos in here <laughs> last thing i expected but anyways uh we now got to unlock the primitive band-aid in the equipment tree so if we go over here to equipment we can learn how to bandage beautiful i don't plan on it but i'm probably gonna get hurt quite a lot in the series and then we we'll go ahead and craft it through our menu in the interactable tab just got to use some fiber to make that happen wanted me to craft it we can toss it over there into our toolbar at the bottom i can press three and i can use the oasis. it plants spill over the sand where nothing is meant to grow i have seen immense trees shoot up after a single rainfall indeed well regardless of that and whatever rainfall he's talking about. We gotta get a campfire popping here. So let's get to crafting. What's it gonna take? I need some wood. I need some stone. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And alrighty, after probably collecting away more than we needed. But at least we'll have it ready to go. We should not be able to actually get a proper campfire built up there. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's go ahead. It wants us to toss three wood into the campfire. I will happily do exactly that. Hold up, there we go. Now we're at three out of three. And now we gotta put the cactus flesh into the campfire. Yo, I need some more cacti flesh. Ah, cacti, come to me. I need your flesh. <laughs> and bloop, we'll toss those into there. And now we are cooking and consuming water by the looks of it. Yeah, that's actually the recipe that we can utilize cactus flesh for. It literally creates water. So we just cooked up two of those. Let's toss that into our inventory and... Ah, it appears that I need a bottle to actually bring that to my inventory, but we can consume it directly out of the campfire at least. Why don't we go and waste, get a little bit more water, water too? Can be more precious than worm silk. A stranded merchant traded me all his possessions for a bottle. Dang. Yeah, that sounds like it's gonna be pretty important. Uh, let's definitely make sure we got the makeshift bottle. Eh, maybe two. That we can utilize to actually store our water. Craft and equip a makeshift bottle. I just equipped it two of them, buddy. What do you mean? Oh, I just had to press four. Okay. It's now equipped. Then we just gotta put water inside. Oh, that's how we equip it. We actually put it into our back slots. Okay, so if I press four again... It'll put another one into there. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So we can actually toss us some water into the bottles. And I think I might need some more water. There we go. We'll toss that. That should burn for plenty of time. But between the UI and just like everything, like Last Oasis seriously seems like a very well polished game. Like everything runs super smoothly. Everything has just like a very pretty the and clean feel to it. Our last walking city. Ooh. The center of the nomadic world. For those who do not ride the walker, it is the only refuge. I reckon that uh, we're going to go and try to find that refuge, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, like everything about the game just seems very well polished. Like between all the harvesting, the combat, everything is very, very smooth. So just from the early game, the fundamentals, they are there. And I am excited to get our very first walker built up and actually get to drive in that thing around 
that's gonna be a cruise and a half but all right we got to actually go and craft up a hatchet which will be in the tool not in the tool in the weapon section we need one more stone for that oh look at that one more stone acquired woodcutters equipped press two to equip it we can swap between a few weapons and then we can start gathering wood from trees and we can actually get more flesh from cactuses when we use this to harvest cacti. Oh, baby, we're getting so much wood from chopping down these trees, though. All right, we got a big boy cactus over here. Let's uh, chippy chop that thing. Yeah, literally two chops. The, that cactus is toast. All right, I don't know what toasted cactus would taste like, but metaphorical toast. You must ride the walker. It is written in the scrolls. Oh, baby, and here it is. Time to unlock the Firefly Walker in the Walker Tree. The time is near for our very first walker. Our mobile base, our vehicle of choice that we're going to be able to use. However, it's going to take, oh, baby, a lot of wood, a lot of fiber. I will get to collecting. And all right, a little bit of harvesting later. Hopefully we can finally... Dude, I need like two more fiber. Bruh. Okay, I got to go and collect a few more bush. A one. A two. And now we should be able to actually build the base of our walker. However, this is only the beginning. We can plop that puppy down. Ooh, look at that thing up here. But I believe we need some walker parts, like the base legs, which, uh, well, actually, hold on. First, I think we actually got to manually build this. Yeah, so we got to crack. Oh, interesting how we do this construction. I'm going to need more resources, aren't I? Yes, I am. So, okay, this is going to be really interesting when there are, like, more and, like, more advanced walkers later on in the game. You actually build them part by part. So, I got to get some more fiber and stone. Hold up, hold up. As much as I want to get some fiber and stone, I want to fight the monkey. What's up, monkey? Are you ready to be attacked? Oh, hold up. Oh, dude, dude, I just love this. It's just, like, good practice. I want to practice my combat being ready to block. Two-hitter quitter. Freaking Rupu. Give me that shaft and your pelt. I will take all of it. A two. I spit on you. All right, detour aside. I think I got enough resources to get to the next level. Now we can craft up the construction part. The, that part. Uh, that part. And okay, so total, I still need like 31 more wood and like 43 more fiber and a few more stone. That construction site on the right tells us what we need to complete everything. Whereas like that kind of thing in the middle tells us what we need to build the current part. So, again, it's like an entire process, and I need 52 wood, 46 fiber, 12 stone. Oh, <gasps> crikey! Do you see me in the distance there, lads? That's right, you stay away from me and my wood collecting ways, Mr. Rupu. It's your time to die! Okay, come on, I want to get a little bit of blocking practice in there. Look at that. So it kind of gives you like a notification, like that symbol right there lets us know he's going to swing from the left, his right, our left, and that we should block that way. So you kind of are prompted and given time to prepare for the actions of those you're in combat with. And like, if you play your cards right, you can come out of combat unscathed. And I just love that there's like, a kind of actual combat system. It's not just kind of like, oh, back away a little bit, then try to move forward and hit them back away. But there's actual like, strategery to how you engage in combat, which is, I don't know, I think that that's really cool. Uh, looks like there's someone else actually starting to build their little thing over here. Well, too bad, so sad. This fiber is mine now. Another really cool thing, you can actually like still move around while you're like accessing your inventory, which I kind of do like. Small, small little detail, but speaking of which, we're at the... Uh, we need a little more wood, little more fiber. We have enough stone. Now, did I actually have enough here to finish construction? Oh, baby. I do. Let's continue building this uh, thing piece by piece. Then I believe we got to assemble the legs. One more part after that. And though she blows. Next up, the legs. I should have enough to build the first leg. I should have enough to build the second leg. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our very first our walker. walker. <laughs> this is dope. Keep only what you need. Abandon everything that cannot be carried. 
So yes, a literal vehicle that we have. For example, if we had a couple of buddies, they could actually chill. Okay, pack the campfire onto our walker. Before we dip, I do need to put the campfire onto our walker. But yeah, we can actually build on this thing. This is like a mobile base that we can build upon within this flat area. Other people could stand on this and we could roam around with some of our buddies on our back. Like, they have, I don't know, just so many dynamic and interesting systems. Over there on the right, y'all can actually see the health of our legs, of our body in general, the weight, the water stored. Like, all these different statistics and how they come into play. And let's go ahead. We can toss the campfire, for example, all the way on the back of our vehicle. And bada boom. I have received visions too. Check it out. I have seen nations settle on the floor of the earth. And when I looked up, the moon was whole. And we're making uh, all the water that we possibly can. And we're going to be able to have it literally just stay and chill in our campfire. Also, it wants us to craft a cargo hold inside of our walker and a water storage. So, uh, we might over here on the upgrade tree side of things. We are going to need a lot more stuff. And I gotta go, I gotta go kill another Rupu to get some wood and stuff. But honestly, listen, I'll be completely honest. I want to drive this thing around a little bit. So, we're going to go ahead and do exactly that first and foremost. This thing does have a very wide turn radius, but that's just so freaking cool. Oh, can I run over a Rupu? I wonder. Rupu! Hey, buddy! Uh, can I get a manslaughter here? Bop! He seemed unfazed. Okay, very disappointed by that, not gonna lie. <laughs> Still. I do want to go and explore the waste a little bit here. Before we do prepare. Mm. It is telling us to do some travel preparation first. So maybe we won't travel too far away. Because I want, like, maybe cactuses become less plentiful the further out we travel. Because this, this is a very large, desert-centric type of world. So I imagine these types of oases are going to be our best friend. So, all right, let's be a little bit responsible. Oh, hold up. Is this something that I could research? Oh, monkey man! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hello, Mr. Monkey. Where are you in these bushes? Ah! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Bop! Oh, no, mess that up. Block! Bop! Smack! Okay, come on. Swing, swing, swing. Ready to block? And bop. Block. And bop. And block. And give me your stuff. And bop. Okay, so that's beautiful, because we did need to kill one more of those dudes. Uh, this appears to be a fiber working station. Oh! Well, I, I can't use it. It is under someone else's ownership, unfortunately. But I imagine that lets us somehow utilize fibers at that workbench. Speaking of which, I'll continue collecting some. Yo, I really hope that I didn't get like a parking ticket or something. We have been gone for a, for a little little while here. Parking ticket? No? Okay, looks like we're good. Now, now, now. Let's go back to opening the storage. We do want to look at upgrades. And all right. So we need to get a cargo hold. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Dunzo. So that thing has some sort of a cooldown going on. But is that just how long it takes to craft and actually enter into our vehicle? Indeed it is! And looky here. We now have the capability to actually store items within our thing. We should be able to get some water storage bopping in here as well. And then we're going to have to put water into our water container. So let's parkour on top of this thing. I did produce quite a little bit here. Let's produce quite a little bit more. We'll toss in some more of that. We'll get some more water producing. And then I wonder how we're actually going to need to transfer it. Is it maybe from our makeshift bottle? I am interested to see exactly how this, like, water storage thing works. So we have water over there. So we, I think we have to transfer it from container to container. So what I will do is bloop. We'll toss in some water into those little bottles, which unfortunately do leak water by the looks of it. Like, water does not stay in them forever. Unless we just... I don't think we automatically drink from there. But then we can put it into what appears to be the more secure water storage container of our actual vehicle. And from what the game's been saying, water is a very important resource. So it's going to be good for us to have a nice little stockpile of this before we decide to venture off into who knows where. So yeah, I got to go and murder me. Do more cacti. And then 
Unless there's some more travel preparation quests we gotta do. I reckon we're gonna be ready to go out and explore. Oh, I, oh is, is this a sandstorm coming in? Dude, what's going on with visibility? I'm scared. I don't exactly know what's going on. I'm spooked. Hold up, did not mean to do that. Uh, will this be enough cacti for what I'm looking for? Uh, that should get us about nine more. Okay, so we are gonna need a few more after this, plus some wood. I might need to go and find me another cacti patch. Cause we're looking to run pretty dry in this location. Ah, I see some cacti up ahead. We'll go and do that. But even with this dust storm intact, like, you gotta admit, this game is freaking gorgeous. Between this huge open world, to have all these survival elements, and not just to be this huge, ambitious survival game, but also just to be so graphically just, like, nice. Like, bro, you love to see it. I don't know, it's just, like, crazy to me that you can experience such a high quality and, like, graphically intensive game. On not just on our PC, right? You can do this on any PC, Mac, NVIDIA Shield, and even an Android device through the NVIDIA GeForce Now platform we were talking about. Like, and again, it's not just for Last Oasis, but a ton of games, both paid for and free to play, that you have across various digital game stores for PC, such as Steam, Epic Game Store, stuff like that. But just the fact that it makes it possible to run just such intensive games and beautiful games like this on hardware that otherwise might not be able to come close to being able to run it that's just crazy to me i don't know it's just awesome that it lets you like actually it opens up the door for a lot of people to experience games that they otherwise may have never been able to experience because they didn't have like a super juiced gaming pc you know this is kind of just like opens the portal to that you know it even opens kind of in a sense like pc gaming to potential android like people who only have like an android phone that just i don't know I love it. And alrighty, let's put plenty more of that into there. Plenty more of the wood and plenty more of the water. Let that get crafting. And we gotta get 12 more put into our walker. And all right, we got more than enough over here. Let's start transferring those. Opening up the storage. And then there should still be a few more here in the fire. Glug, glug, glug. We'll grab those. And toss those into that storage. Woo! When you Another face level. An adversary you cannot beat. Remember the grappling hook bolted to your arm. Hold up. Take flight. Hold up. It is a nomad's greatest weapon. I have a grappling hook. What? Are you serious right now? Yo, dude, am I about to just be grappling around? Hold up. Hold up. I think we need to get a little bit of wood first. But I think we're literally about to craft the grappling hook. Oh, baby. Grappling hook time, yes? Yes, that is a tool. Boop. And now we just got to equip it. And it goes into our secondary slot. Where does it go? Oh, there we go. It, it didn't go. I just had to right click on it. Okay. Overflowing with energy. It grows higher than the tallest walker. Seek. The mystical fruit it bears. Oh! Oh! Hold up! I I just shot it! Oh! So that's what that yellow icon is! I can... Boop! I just shot out my grappling hook so I can... Reel it in. Parkour! Woo! Okay, so I'm not really reeling anything in though. Or I can reel out. So that kind of like adds some slack to the line. See what I'm saying? Because right now I'm kind of connected to this. Right now I can slack it. Or I can reel it in a little bit. And it's kind of reeling me in. And I can climb ledges by holding space. So... I'm going to go and parkour really quickly. Uh, <laughs> let's find a good location to do some parkour, shall we? Alright, so this ledge is what I'm interested in. Because from my understanding of what this grappling hook's gonna be capable of, like, we might be able- Oh, what's up, fellow walker? We might be able to, like, literally parkour up this thing? Okay, so we did that. And then we just wanna go ahead and reel it in. Yo! I'm Spider-Man, dude! Oh my god! Ah -ha -ha! Oh no! 
Okay, okay, that was almost bad, but almost good. So, dude, that's literally crazy. So if I jump, oh, and check it out. We can literally, oh my God. <laughs> that is insane. So we can reel that in by pressing E and then hopefully, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. So all right, I'm gonna attach to that over there. Whee! Okay, no, that did not go as planned. Oh, I'm gonna escape now. Ah, oh, sayonara, baby! To my incredible escape. And all right, let's uh, go up a little bit more there. And beautiful. There we go. There's the parkour element. Took a little bit of practice, but we actually got to climb up that ledge. Oh my God. This grappling hook is going to be a game changer. Literally giving us the ability. Hold up. I'm continuing to reel in here. And oh, there we go. And another ledge climbed up. The truce between the tribes is fragile because we are swayed by greed. Where did I park my walker? No man will forget his oath. <laughs> As quickly as the sun melts the ice. Hmm. Indeed. So I gotta find and loot an urn inside a Rupu camp. Oh. So I gotta find a Rupu camp in order to raid it? There's someone's walker over there. Huh. Well, well, well. I suppose I'll get to it. First things first, though. Let's cut this thing some slack. And yeet! <laughs> Dude, that is just, I love it so much. I, this grappling hook alone has just made me like this game, like potentially a bunch of times better. Okay, what happens if I like grapple onto a person? Can I like grapple you? Maybe? No. Grapple. Ow! Okay, I'm not gonna try grappling you. I respect you too much as an adversary. I'll just kill you. All right. Adventure we go. There's a Rupu village that way. Let's, uh... Head our way to the west then. We just saw that over there on the map. And let's see what this village has in store for us. There's probably gonna be a lot of Rupu there, so we gotta be ready for quite the battle. Also, once this thing picks up some speed, it's in cruise control. You know? Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, is it down here? Maybe? No, but we do need to climb down, it seems, before we can get to the village. Oh, jeez! It looks like there's a few paths where that's kind of doable with minimal damage. Oh no. Okay, come on. You can, oh, oh jeez. Oh my God, this thing just destroys wood. Not even wood, this thing destroys stone like it's nothing. Okay, I'm getting a little bit stuck though. Now that I've lost my momentum. Eh, there we go. Get Shreked, scrub. Should be up ahead here. Maybe on the other side of this little hill. As y'all can see, it's like right there. Wherever dare is. Could it be at that giant rock? I see like a monkey caveman drawing up there. You see that? That kind of looks like a monkey up there. Or maybe I'm just seeing things. I'm just trying to believe that we're heading the right way. Oh, wait! I, dude, I gotta watch out more. <laughs> Anyways, right up ahead, I believe. Oh. Between all the Rupu I'm hearing, I think that, oh, I'm seeing a lot of Rupu. I think this might be it, ladies and gentlemen. The Rupu village. Time for us to get into some combat. Yeah, there's a lot of Rupu here. Oh my God. I've never seen this many Rupu. You're gonna, yeah, okay. We got quite the large battle ahead of us, lads. Oh, block, uh, yeet. Oh no, block, yeet. There we go, big hit. Big it! Nice. One down. One down. I'll let him swing. Block. Counter. Bop. Oh, bop. There we go. Two down. That's good. Because we got to kill like a lot of these guys. Oh my god. Guys, out of the frying pan and into the fire. War again into the thick of things already. Oh! There we go. If you're going to roar, bro. Oh no. Oh, block. I'm going to hit. Oh no. That guy's a strong one. It's taking a lot of hits and he's not even dead. Okay, there we go. He falls. Block. And bop. And block. And bop. Oh my god, they're just running up on us. We're, we're definitely gonna kill 10 of them at this rate, I tell you what. Okay, block. 
and bop and double bop. There we go. We're getting risky now. We're getting confident. We're double bopping these dudes. And we haven't even gotten to looting their urns. Like, I want to see what their urns have in store for us. I imagine after we clear out this little encampment, we'll find out. Come at me, bro! I fear no Rupu! You are nothing to me! Ow! Okay, you're something, maybe. That hurt a little bit. But honestly, I don't really care about blocking you. Okay, maybe I care about blocking this. Okay, he has 11 health. Never mind. Okay, he's actually, he's got combat tactics. Ah! Dude, this guy's really good at blocking us. Okay, block and bop. Oh my god. What's it gonna take to kill you? Oh! Oh, dude. I, I literally cannot figure out. There we go! How to counter that man. Or monkey. I, I, like, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're men, technically. Like, they definitely look like primates. Quite literally. And they do grunt and roar like them. Like, they literally just look like gorillas. <laughs> oh, no. This guy, I don't know why, I'm just off my game for this fella. But down he goes as well. Please tell me there's not many more of them. Because, <laughs> like, if there is... I don't know. I might need some band-aids. How about that? Yeah, let's craft up a few band-aids here. Definitely in need of these. Let's press three. Apply it. Heal up. I might need some water here too in a second. I don't really have any in my makeshift bottles. I mean, I, I think there's, oh, there you go. He's like stuck in that corner. Oh, this is a fancy looking one. It's a Citadel. Oh, these guys know how to fight. I do not like this. I don't like this. These guys are tough cookies. Ugh. Bop and block and block and bop. Oh, no. Block. Come on, dude. How are they so good? Ha <laughs> ha. Not good enough. Where are your urns? Tell me. Oh, no. There's more. Billy Mays here. I'm just going to honestly, you know what I'm going to do? What could possibly go wrong? I'm just gonna run into the middle of this dang place. Give me your urns! Ah! Uh, is this an urn? No, that's a campfire. What psychopath is building campfires in here? Are there a lot of Rupu currently chasing us? I believe that answer to be yes. But, I'm here for more important things. Where are your urns? My goodness! We might need to come back. I might need to leave a message after the beep. Oh Lord. Oh, baby. Guys, I think we're getting in a little bit of trouble here. Maybe just a minor bit of trouble. Ah! Just from the amount of grunts I'm hearing alone, I'm terrified. Oh, my God. Guys, I get it. Listen, I'll sign all these autographs later. Just give me some urns first. Is that so much to ask? Yeah, y'all, I'm going to be completely honest. Maybe I'm pulling a big derp. You know, maybe. But I literally do not see any urns inside of this camp so either we gotta go to another camp or we gotta wait for this one to like respawn or something so uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a hasty exit come on come on reel in reel in i'm trying to parkour oh no that backfired not as swift as i imagined it'd be Yeet. oh there we go you could definitely pull off some cool things with that. But yeah, I'm going to make my way back to my walker here. But without further ado, I think that's a pretty eventful and good point for us to actually go ahead and start ending off this episode of Last Oasis. Thank you again to NVIDIA for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel. Hopefully y'all enjoyed not just the beginning of our Last Oasis adventure, but also a prime example of NVIDIA GeForce Now's prowess. This is an experience that seriously many of all many of y'all can now have thanks to the NVIDIA GeForce Now's ability to turn any PC, Mac, NVIDIA Shield, and even Android device into a gaming PC powerhouse. So again, make sure to go and check out the NVIDIA GeForce Now platform through that link at the very tippity top of the description where you can enjoy the free membership and for a limited time, even get a special price on the Founders membership and its many benefits, including that free 90-day introductory period I was talking about. But without further ado, ow! I'm getting mugged by freaking Rupu, and I'm continuing to dip. So yeah, I will talk to y'all when our adventure continues in the next one. See ya.